So continuing with the uh, hand tank 1008 oscilloscope, we're going to do some basic setup and I'm going to show you how to do a, a waveform for a um, fuel injector. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our menu here and we're going to change our time and time per division. And we're going to set this at let's say five milliseconds. We're going to use channel one. So here are all the different channels. You can choose whichever one you'd like and you can turn them on and off here. I'm going to use a 20 to 1 attenuator which is going to divide the voltage by 20 because of the inductive spike. I don't want to damage my scope. And since inductive spike on an injector is usually about 40 volts, we're going to set it to let's say 10 volts per division. We're going to lower the trace, the zero line, to about there and that should give us a good amount of room to see this this waveform so I have my attenuator here it's a 20 to 1 I have hooked up to my my leads I have a back probe adapter which I bought off eBay but grounded to the battery there so if you could please uh, start the car I'm going to back probe one of them. I'm not really sure which one is the control wire. Uh, I'm going to guess, uh, I think it's this one. Let's see what we get on the scope. Oh, there it is. We got a nice, let me just set the trigger. You set the trigger with this bar on the right. You can adjust it to wherever you want. The number changes on the top there to the voltage or you can just look at you can just look at the trigger as you're adjusting it. So here I have it set to 50 volts, which is pretty good. Let me just a little lower. Let's try 45.1 or 37. There you go. And look we have a nice ignition waveform of the fuel injector. You can adjust the uh, time settings. Let's make it a little bit wider. Let's go to one millisecond, get a little more detail. And look, that's a nice one right there. Here we see the on time of the injector and the inductive spike, which shows that there is pencil movement. If this inductive spike wasn't there, you could definitely see the voltage drop, but you would you could pretty much be sure that there is no pencil movement in the injector and that injector is dead. So that is how you would test a fuel injector with uh, the Hantech scope.